Aloha everyone, Jody Mountain here, speaking with you from the island of Maui, Hawaii, and more of the Ancient Wisdom series. Over the last few weeks, uh, it feels like there's been a lot of movement, um, both for myself and for many people that I've been in touch with. And of course, I have found this pathway, Ke Alahoku, the pathway to the stars, incredibly useful and helpful in navigating these times because it encourages us to meet what is, what is here and not to try and get away from what feels awful and only live in the happy place of what, what feels sparkly and joyful. And the result of that surprisingly is that as we meet these more difficult times or the joyful times and we start to move with that moment with everything with all the pain with all the unrest with all the insomnia with all the fear whatever it is that's arising that being that pattern or that emotion has an opportunity to speak and to unwind itself and become free. And then what happens is we tend to have more of our energy available to the moment. Um, so instead of fear being held inside of us, like parts of us holding our breath, wondering what's gonna happen and hoping that nothing bad happens or whatever the fear is about, this energy of holding, um, first of all, it takes a lot of energy to hang on to something. Um, and ha having the ability to meet that, so in this paradigm, we would, we would embrace it and bring it closer to us and say, hey, I, I see that you're afraid, tell me more. But in order to do that, we have to recognize that more of us exists than just the fear. And that's the trouble with the way we navigate in the West, in Western mind. Um, first of all, we don't see these as beings. We don't see my fear as a being, as awake and alive. And we don't see it as a member of our family. So when we do those two things, and then we're able to embrace that member of our family and have this wider sense that more of us is also here. So in any given moment, all of you is here, wherever you go in the world, if you go to the grocery store, if you go to work, if you go to a party, every experience that you've ever had in your whole life, every thought you've ever had, every sensation, every memory, every hope, every dream is there with you, as you. Um, we don't show everybody everything, but all of your mana, all of you, all of your experience is there. Uh, Kahu called this the space of our existence and includes every sensation we've ever had, every taste we've ever tasted. Um, and the ability to, to keep meeting these parts of ourselves that are less than free and to allow us to uh, allow ourselves to meet it and to move with it, to embrace it and to ask what, what is it that you want to say? gives that family member and that energy the opportunity to expand and to be free. And then more of us is here now to meet the moment. So in a way, the work is like reclaiming parts of ourselves, parts of our energies that have been stopped and blocked and held, held back. And most of the time we have done that to ourselves. Um, we are the ones who, who reacted and continue to drop into that pattern, not through any fault of our own, but until we take responsibility for what we actually do, oh, I'm the one going back into that pattern again, um, then we can't change it unless we take responsibility, unless we need it. The moment something is somebody else's fault and somebody else's um, responsibility. If they don't change, if they don't apologize to me, I'm gonna remain angry. I'm gonna remain upset. 
that means now I've left my possibility of happiness and equilibrium with somebody else. That they need to do something, they need to change, they need to say something, or else I can't be happy. So I've given my power away. So this is the, the beauty of taking responsibility. Um, and the beauty of meeting just what is, what is here right now. Um, and it's not always easy. Sometimes very difficult things are here right now. Sometimes very painful things are here right now. But as long as we can stay in, in, a, in a place that knows that that's not the only thing going on, um, there's much more possibility of transformation, transmutation, healing. And one way we can remind ourselves that there's always more, um, there's more of who we are, is to dive into the um, recognition that our body is also here. So a lot of times when these, these things come up, uh, our mind and emotions wants to chew on all that and think about what we should do and what we shouldn't do and what we should say and how awful is this and I can't believe this is happening. And, you know, there's a lot of ways we can get, get into the thoughts and the emotions and a lot of ways, all of that can come up and be incredibly distracting. So one helpful thing that we can do is just pause, first of all, and then take a moment to just feel anything in your body, the bottoms of your feet, the tongue in your mouth, um, the blinking of your eyes just to feel that sensation and when i do that and in the practice of the work i am reminded that that's the mystery that that is basically spirit the unknown god whatever you want to call it moving through me because i know that i can't beat my own heart and i can't run the synapses in my brain and i can't lubricate my eyes as my eyelids close but something is doing that and that something in this paradigm is source itself. And so as we take that pause and we come back to our sensations, our heartbeat, our breath, our feeling of the air on our hands, on our skin, um, the weight of my body on my legs, on my seat, as we come back to all that and we are reminded that we are mostly a function of source itself. We are mostly the mystery. It puts a lot of things into perspective and allows whatever else is happening in me to, to be held in this wider space. Um, so, I mean, I could describe it forever, but the main uh, advantage that you're going to get out of it or the main teaching that you're going to get out of it is by doing that, especially in a difficult situation when it's possible um, and to discover what you discover in that pause and in that, that, that adjustment of your attention um, towards the body, allowing yourself to feel what is true right now in this body. So, as I've said in other videos, I, I'm not talking about the moment when a tiger is running towards you um, and has its claws out about to jump on you. I don't suggest that you pause then and that you feel your body uh, because in that moment, you need to keep yourself safe. So, I'm speaking more about the internal emotional moments. Um, where you're perfectly well and perfectly safe um, and you can take the time to rest in that and to meet what is arising. Okay, so see how you get on with that. I'd love to hear if anybody has any experiences that are interesting in terms of um, changing your perspective in the moment. Okay, everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. If you are interested in more online courses with me, there are links below um, to the online school, lineageoflightonlineschool.com. 
And if you're interested in live trainings and retreats, that's also below. And you can go to lineageoflight.com for that. Aloha, everyone. <laughs>